basic idea is the, the uh, American Pediatric Institute, the, the, the emergency nurses, the emergency physicians, they have all seen horrible accidents, disfiguring accidents involving kids who are in a seat belt that does not fit them properly. It gives them internal injuries, it gives them neck injuries, it gives them spinal injuries, and horrible things happen to these kids. You can reduce the, the frequency of those, those types of injuries dramatically, even in, even in low speed accidents. If a, if a kid is in a booster seat until they're nine years old or, 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 hot, or taller than four foot nine. Well, we're also one of the states that doesn't have a primary seat belt law. You can't be pulled over for not wearing your seat belt. And because of that, we're missing out on millions and millions of transportation dollars each year. I think we ought to have a primary seat belt law. I think we need to have a booster seat belt, belt law. I think we need to keep kids out of the back of pickup trucks. These are all common sense things we shouldn't legislate against, but we need to have them there to make clear to people that these are not good things to do with your kids. It doesn't matter whose name is on the bill as long as you're saving kids' lives.